I'd like to say contemporary craft artist who works in everything from drawing to painting to sculpture and performance and I deal with ideas of time, memory, and mortality. I am also pursuing a master's degree in thanatology, which is death studies. In thanatology, we look at um, a wide range of topics that deal with death and dying in an individual, but also the way that it affects their families and communities and just the world at large. It doesn't have to be bad. It can be really good for myself and for other people to be exploring it. And that's actually like why I really have kind of just like honed in on exploring the topic because I think that I can be a good person because of my positivity and charm or whatever <laughs> to, to like provide death, topics of death and dying in a format that isn't intimidating and is inviting and encourages others to like get in on the conversation. So I've been collecting a bunch of cardboard and I've had that stashed away at my house and then every day I've been going on a walk through the local graveyard. Graveyards are kind of like my happy place. It's just a place where I can walk through and meditate and and I love to look at the gravestones, and I've always been drawn, I know most people love to read like the dates, um, see when people lived, and that's very interesting. But I'm always really drawn to the images, and then I went back to the studio and I did kind of a simple drawing on cardboard, and then painted each of um, the graphics or images red. And I used the color red because red is just, well, first of all, I love the primary colors. And red is just such like a psychologically kind of like powerful color where it stirs up a lot of emotion. It also can represent like life and death and love and it can be this like connector of relationships. So in a way, this is like preserving those people who passed away and c having a connected relationship with them now in the present with the community. I've made 102 of them, I think, or 104. And I think it's just the tip of the iceberg because now I've realized that I'm really interested in knowing what these images mean and seeing how you know, they differ throughout, maybe even throughout the US. This residency has really taught me and encouraged me to slow down a little bit. Um, life is just so busy and time goes by so quickly and I'm aging every minute. And I think it's really important to just like not always have such like pressure on yourself, like so much pressure on yourself. And I think with my art practice, being able to scale it back a little bit to simplify the material, to simplify the process and make it more about process instead of end product, I think that that was really important because it allowed me to just kind of get into this like meditative state where I was making, you know, over a hundred little red paintings.